So, uh, as I was saying, ghosts got very boring. Hey, it's my fellow Brotherhood of Steel buddies. Hey, guys. But uh, every game played out the exact same. It was super boring. And generally, one day, it really all it took was a good game to steal me away from ghosts. I know uh, it sounds kind of weird, but that's the truth. Is that I wasn't hooked on ghosts like I was. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna walk over. Oh my god. <laughs> the brother of the steel guy just got his minigun like shot out of his hands. Ooh, he lost. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, so. Oh, what are you doing, Alex Dargon? Come on, guys. Stop doing that. Let's keep moving. So, uh. I wasn't hooked on Ghosts like I was every other call every other Call of Duty when they first came out. Even Black Ops 2, I was hooked on when it first came out. I, it's just generally something, regardless of whether Call of Duty is good or not. You know, you're gonna put in a ton of hours when it comes out, and uh, that's just something that didn't happen with Ghosts because it was a stale game. The games played out the exact same way every time. Come on, can I go inside, please? Name's Paladin Bay. I just want to go inside. I don't really care. But, uh... Oh, beautiful Washington. Hey, look. Jefferson Memorial. I was just there. <laughs> I was actually just in Washington, D.C. a few days ago. Kind of funny. But, uh... So, Call of Duty was stale, and sure enough, like I said before, it, all it took was a good game to snatch me away from ghosts and make me put the game down, basically indefinitely because I decided to start well f first of all this was about the same time that rust came out on steam and uh, I still wasn't into rust yet I started getting into rust once uh, once it went public on steam because then my friends able were able to get it and then I was actually able to pay play with people I knew but uh, I actually decided to start this fallout 3 uh, profile and this is the first time I'm actually using it in quite a long time. If you look at the hours I have on it, it's about 15 hours. And uh, so in only a few days' time, I managed to put in like 10 hours on this game instead of playing Ghosts and what is going on here? Stupid cutscenes. But uh, I started a follow-through profile, decided to stop playing Ghosts. And then sure enough, Rust went public on Steam. And then I just started playing that for hours on end every day. And I, I actually managed to put up like 60 hours so far on Rust. Uh, and that dating that back to December 11th or 12th, which is when it came, went public on Steam. So that's a lot of time that I put in on Rust. So that's basically the reason that I haven't been playing Ghosts. I've been playing... Fallout, Rust, and then, you know, a few other PC games scattered around here and there. It's just because it's been more fun. And, uh, I don't know, you know, and all my friends hated ghosts. I didn't have, like, one friend that actually liked ghosts. So, oftentimes I found myself playing solo on ghosts, and I hate playing Call of Duty solo. If you know me... I've never admitted to being like a solo player. Like a lot of people like pride themselves because they play solo. I've always liked, and I've never been a huge like full man party kind of guy either. I like playing with like one or two friends when I play Ghosts. I think that's fun. And unfortunately, no one really liked Ghosts, so I found myself playing solo. And even when I found myself playing with friends, uh, they weren't doing great. They weren't liking it, and. It's not fun to play with someone who's just pissed off the whole time, so it didn't. Ju it just didn't work out, basically. So I wasn't enjoying my time with Ghosts at all. And then I started liking this game. Oh, I gotta be careful. They're playing music. Oh no, copyright. But uh, yeah. So that's kind of what happened, and uh. I think that's all I need to talk about in Ghosts. Oh, and I said I was going to talk about weapon balance. Uh, something interesting about Ghosts is that 
I thought it was the game that had the best weapon balance in like Call of Duty history. I was like, I don't really care what you have to say. Please go away. Please go away. But uh, the Brotherhood is at your I thought Ghost had the best weapon mounts in Call of Duty history, aside from a game like Call of Duty 4 or World at War, which I oh well, not World at War actually, MP40. <laughs> but uh, I thought it had great weapon mounts, and that's always good. But something I noticed is that weapon bad weapon mounts almost kind of feeds me in a call of duty in the sense that it makes me angry and it makes me want to use something if you notice in black ops and this is like this especially where the hell do i go this especially has to do with black ops one where i despised people who use the famas and galil and 740u and it it just fueled the fire in me to start using the, the guns that were really unbalanced in a bad way. You know, the guns like the Olympia, which were awful. You know, and that kind of like, I don't know, it like revs you up because you're so angry at that. So you're like, look what I can do. You know, I can beast at these guys with the crap weapons. And uh, so I'm not going to say bad weapon mounts is a good thing, but sometimes it, it kind of makes the game a little more fun. So, what do I do here? Oh, do I have to look through all these? I already know what which I know these most of these. Okay. Can I just tell me what's which one to go to? No. No. I have to like look through them. Okay. Yay, I found it. Is this it? Oh yeah, there. Gek. Sweet. But, um... Weapon balance... Bad weapon balance sometimes can be a good thing in Call of Duty. Or, it depends who you are, obviously. But, uh... Because Ghost had such good weapon balance... I, th I found myself never sure what gun to use in the sense that every gun kind of felt the exact same. So I remember like I would go through stints with like the AK-12 and then I would go through stints with the CM-9, oh, not the CM-9, the Remington, which was basically the CM-901. And it wasn't so fun because in the end it just felt like I was using the exact same gun with like a slightly different recoil pattern. You know. And the same thing with the submachine guns. Like I felt like every submachine gun I used was the exact same. Uh, just with a r different skin. And that kind of just made me a little bored of every gun in the game. So. While good weapon mounts is a good thing. Sometimes it just makes the game stale. And that's kind of what happened in Ghosts for me, at least. So I think that's my whole spiel on Ghosts. Now as far as Ghosts and YouTube goes, I I actually recorded a real one that first came out, a few days after it came out, I recorded a super long live com session on Domination that I thought went really well. And I was uploading that, oh no, oh Jesus copyright go away but uh i recorded a really long live composition that i thought went well and i started uploading it for a little bit while i wasn't playing ghost just to give you guys some kind of call of duty content but even then like i didn't even want to put in the low effort it takes to just like cut up the video a few times and render different parts of it you know which really to make live com guys it, it's like no effort which is why sometimes I do it, <laughs> cause like I'm re I really don't want to put in all the effort to make a long a commentary, so I just do a live com, which is easy. So that's kind of what I was doing. What am I doing here? I gotta go to a Widow Wamp White. Oh, I haven't even discovered it yet, really. Oh crap! Am I gonna have to do walking? Yep, I think so. Shit. But um. Yeah, so I don't need to have my marker on it. So that's basically it on ghosts. And 
As far as normal commentaries, I don't know what I'm going to do. I would not expect any in the upcoming future. But, uh, Livecom, maybe I'll get around to uploading that, uh, that session that I had. Oh shit, this guy's got rockets. Ow. There we go. But, uh, oh, hello. Oh, he's got a sniper rifle. Ouch. He is doing damage on me. But, uh, that's it on ghosts. That's it on ghosts on YouTube. Don't really know what else to tell you guys. As far as Rust goes, I do plan on uploading a ton of it. Because it's super fun, and I tend to record every time. Why can't I search this? Wow. I tend to record whenever cool stuff is happening. As you've seen uh, in my past few videos, I have uh, been uploading some of the interesting moments. And uh, the past few weeks with Rust has been a little stressful just because it's... They've been having all these problems with the servers. It's an alpha game, so they have problems. So the servers have been up and down. And uh, my really successful run, unfortunately, got wiped. And it was a super successful run. Like, I, have, I was doing amazing with my friends. And our server got wiped because they had to update the game, unfortunately. Oh, shit. And, uh... Oh my god, what the hell is happening? So our server got wiped, and we lost all of our progress, which sucked. And then every other server we got, we would make a little progress, and then shit would just go down again. And uh, actually one time, and I recorded it so you might see this video, we had an insane run on this one server. It was actually the original server where we had that really good run that got wiped. And we decided to go back to it and try again, and we, we actually were really successful. And because we decided to pull a fast one on what we thought, what was our ally, because you make allies sometimes. It's kind of, it's a weird game, because it's, it's total, how do, which gun is, nope, not that one, there we go. It's a, it's a game that's entirely driven by human actions, you know, a human nature. So, like, people make allies instead of shooting each other sometimes. And so, we made allies. And w one day we accidentally killed him. <laughs> you know, it was just an accident. We didn't see his name. And he comes back, he's like, dude, give me my stuff. And we're like, yeah, 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 that works. <laughs> we'll give you your stuff back. But he had a lot of stuff, so we were like... So, in our Skype call, we were like, dude, do not give him all the stuff. Say that someone else took it. And so, we pulled a fast one, and we took a lot of the stuff. <laughs> and somehow, I still look back at the recording, and can't, I have no idea how. Why are these Brahmin attacking Super Mutant? Like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> but, uh, I still look back at the recording, and I have no idea. But, oh my god. But somehow, this guy heard us in our Skype call while, I guess he heard it through someone's echo on their mic. He heard us saying, like, dude, don't give him everything. Haha, <laughs> what a loser. So, he takes his team of, like, ten guys, and at night, they decide to attack our base, and... And actually, they didn't end up getting to us to kill us and take our stuff. What we ended up doing is dropping all of our stuff on the floor which makes it uh despawn makes it like disappear just because we didn't we knew we were gonna lose and we didn't want them to get our stuff so we ended up doing that no regrets <laughs> but uh that that's that kind of stressed me out and ever since then we haven't had a really successful run we had one successful run but the only reason that it was successful was because the server was empty and we were expecting it to grow but it never did so we were just in an empty server, and it kind of sucked. So, I think I'm just going to end this while I'm at Little Lamplight. Uh, thanks, you guys, for watching. 
I thought this was pretty chill. I was actually wrong about what was supposed to happen in this quest. I was expecting some other stuff to go down, but it turned uh, like I forgot a lot about the follow through main quest, so didn't be it wasn't as exciting as I wanted it to be, basically. <laughs> And also, if you notice, I have a mod on that makes all the colors look so nice and, like, different weather. That's why it's, like, cloudy and the moon is out. Where's the moon? I just saw it. No, I don't know. Where. There it is. So, kind of makes the textures look really cool. I don't know. So, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the face cam. <laughs> so, there you go. That was just uh, my thoughts on ghosts and YouTube and Rust. And yeah, so see you guys all there. Thanks for watching.